All right, this is a fuchsia uh, bush, and Mackenzie is holding one branch here where we're going to take a cutting. And you can see that um, there are several Mary stems. There's the primary Mary stem, and one, two, three more, and four. Four, and you want to you want to have at least three Mary um, Mary stem sets in when you take a cutting. I want. Okay, so. Go ahead, Mackenzie. She's going to trim off the uh, the lower leaves by the Mary stems. Good. One on the other side. Good. And kind of rotate your hands so we can see what you're doing. There you go. Okay, and then below that Mary stem, we're going to take... Hang on. Let's get the water up here. We're going to take a cutting and immediately put it in the water so that it... You go ahead and drop it in there. Just drop the whole thing in there. Great. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing to another. Here's another branch. Let's do the same thing there. And One, try... two, three, four, five, and the primary stem. Yeah, so so just cut off the bottom two sets of pairs of leaves. Or three. Now don't cut the stem. Cut the leaf off. Remember, cut the leaves off first. That's right. So you cut the bottom two sets of leaves off and then you're going to cut this that we want. right and then you're going to take the cutting below that that below the mary stem and put it right in the water good okay so now we have two uh, cuttings and then we take some potting soil in a, a tray or in a planter and the first thing you do is you saturate the soil with water and uh, Kenzie's going to is going to uh, so I'm gonna get back a little bit. Just just do the just do you know one area because we've only got two cuttings, so we don't have to do the whole tray. And you want to put enough water in it that it just comes dripping out the bottom. You want to completely saturate it, and then you won't water it again. For like two or three, one, two or three months. Well, until it roots, usually. Uh, because the plants aren't going to be using any water until they start putting out roots, but you want it to be saturated so that it stays wet. Okay, and go ahead and just poke that in. And you push it down so that the Mary stems, at least one Mary stem, and preferably two, depending on the depth of your planter, are in the soil. Okay, go ahead and put the other one in. Good. And then you push the soil around. Good. And then what we'll do with this is we'll put it in a high humidity environment. You can put a dome over it or you could, if it's a single planter, you can take a, a two or a three liter pop bottle, clear pop bottle, and put that, cut the bottom off and put that over it. Something to keep the humidity around the cutting really high until it roots. And depending on the type of uh, plant that you're taking a cutting of, uh, it can take anywhere from a couple of weeks to several months before they put out roots. And once they put roots out, then you, you're going to see uh, new leaf growth forming at the meristems that are above the ground. And that's when you know that there's roots below the ground. Recording. Okay, go ahead. So we're going to take a cutting of a grapevine here. Go ahead, cut the leaf off. And then cut the other leaf off and then take the cutting. No, 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 no. That's all the leaves. Now, when you take the, to get the glass of water up here so you can get it right in there. And you don't want to cut it right there. You want to cut it halfway between. Okay? That's good. All right. And we get that right in the water so that we don't form an air embolism. So that the water, so that the vine stays full of water. Um, let's take another one. An I mean... Let's find, let's find another one to take, another grapevine to cut. Um, one, two, three. Okay. Good. 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 And maybe just Perfect. one more. Just one. just one case. You want to put this one, I think, is tangled up. There we go. Okay. There's some more over this way. That one's too big. That one's too thick. Try one of these up here. What? Primary stem? 
Yeah, the primary one's the one right on the end, and then this is actually be the right first. Here. That would be the second. This would be the third. That would be the fourth. Whoops. And they're getting trying to get tangled up. <laughs> cut the leaf off first. Yeah. You don't have to cut two of them off. If you're, it, you don't want to cut all of the leaf. The leaves are going to have uh, sugars in them to keep the plant alive while it's trying to grow its uh, roots. So you don't want to cut all the leaves off. Only uh, like one or two. Yep. Okay. So there we go. Three grapes. Here, Mackenzie. Go ahead and take these. And we'll put those in the planter. We might want them to be right because these spreads... Don't just leave it on the ground. Put it right into the soil. These spreads really big roots. Yeah, you can put two of them in, in each thing, though. You might even be able to fit three of them because you put the first one in the middle, right? I'd put the other one over on the other side. There you go. Good. Okay, and pack the dirt around them. To keep them straight up. Yep, and we're going to put these in a place in a high humidity location. This whole tray, we have a we have window wells in the around the basement that we'll be putting these under or putting these inside of so we can keep the humidity level high. And okay, so we're going to take a, uh, a cutting of a, a side branch on a tomato plant. Uh, you've already cut that one off, that's okay. And then go ahead and cut the other one off. And then take the cutting and get it into the water. And I'll move back here so we get a little bit better view of what's going on. There we go. And the, the leaves on that are so big, I'd even I think I'd even cut the lower... Uh, leaf branch there as well off. You don't want too many leaves on it. You want enough to provide it with uh, with food for the plant to produce new roots. So you want to leave some leaves, but you don't want to leave a lot of leaves because the leaves uh, require moisture and now that it doesn't have roots it can't get moisture into the plant very well. So we've got a cutting. Let's go put that in the soil. Uh -oh. Okay, okay, let's get let's put the tomato, Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Yeah, let's put the let's get the tomato plant that you just took a cutting of. Let's get that put in the soil. And did you saturate that soil there? Yes. And with tomato plants, especially big cuttings like this, you can actually here, let me let me take it for a second. You can actually lay a tomato plant in sideways like this and cover it up with a little bit of extra soil. And that it will uh, it will do better that way cuz it tomato plants put roots out all over the place.